Hello again everybody, um, somebody told me there was a secret level to this game and um, I'll be trying to look for it, um, I don't, I don't really know where it is to be honest, I, I saw it was around like the 16th day or the 17th day around there um probably near new york city because it's at a at new york city i mean because it's like near the edge of the town it's essentially the um it's essentially the like aristotelska level um and i think you know it'll be interesting to see what it's all about you know what i'm saying Incoming message from Arstotska. Okay, because this is like tying into papers, please, by the way. Please help at the door. Alright. Achievement unlocked. Play the secret level. Alright. Border control. Arstotska 1982. A brief thank you to Luska's Pope and Papers, please, for inspiring. Not tonight, too. Okay, so it seems that they work together for this particular episode. Okay, read the rules when ready, start. Oh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. I had to study this as well, so... It was fun. It is fun to see them, like, collaborating together. Uh, July. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, but what differentiates it is, like, um, Papers, Please had a full passport. And this is more of just the ID in itself. And I, I mean, I appreciate that, but, um, you know, I think it would have been more meta if, it, if, if there were, like, more stuff to check out. Um, but yeah, so far, I mean, this is a fun little Easter egg, I would say. But man, what a throwback to papers, please. Are we gonna see... Are we gonna see, uh, Georgie? <laughs> that guy was a... That guy is, t like, the literal Dave of this game, so... Oh, I guess that's why Dave was so prominent in this one, because the last one, uh, you know, it was... It was another... It was another guy, but it wasn't, like, the crazy uncle type. Uh, this one was more of the crazy jungle type. Alright, so the the secret level, I don't know how long it will take because this feels like a very short um, episode. Uh, but I guess it's a, a, a nice Easter egg either way. I would have to thank uh, the commenter for um, for telling me about it. Uh, just let me check what the name is in a in a bit here. Let me just um, yeah. So you know, I I really appreciate any comments that come my way. So please do feel free to comment any co constructive criticism. Okay, his name is Adam Handley, and I I really appreciate Adam. For your um, information, I would not have known uh, otherwise because I'm a I'm just a kind of a speedrun kind of guy, um, and I would I would play this back when I have the time, honestly, because um, this is a very interesting game to play if you have the time, and I simply do not have the time. At the moment, because I, you know, I'm still working and uh, all of that, but it is, it is a really, really great thing that it came out when it did because I just had the time, and I was really appreciative that it came out um, when it did, because essentially it came out on a on a weekend, and uh, I really, I really appreciated that because then I would have the, um, I would have the. I would have the time to record everything and, and do it in one go. Of course, like some people would not really like the the binge watch, but I think it's a I think it's a fair you know it's a fair thing to do, 
and essentially I'm just copying what Jacksepticeye did in his early days, you know, just throw out content at, at one time, but um, it's, it's also not being done, really, uh, you know, in the YouTube world today, um, but yeah, you know, it's just um, just me experimenting with new things, I think. And um, yeah, I think that's this is gonna be it for not tonight to recording. I might play this in my in my free time, but again, I, d I don't really know per se if I, I if I do want to revisit this game or not because the, it's it's a bit long at times, and I I, I do want to be like a, the perfect completionist, but. I take the W's when I can, man, you know, life is too short, and that's about it, man, that was it, uh, oh, I have collectibles as well, I collected a few stuff, I think, uh, you know, if you have a perfect score, they would give you more, um, costumes, so you guys can, can go and try to do that, um, and I think, I think the, by the way, I think the um, secret level only comes out if you do complete the game. If you don't complete the game, then you you can't uh, you can't do it. Um, and uh, you know, I guess I could give my overall thoughts about this game, where I didn't really have the the time uh, to really think about what the entire game is you know ca encapsulating and all of that i i do feel like some of my commentary was a bit on the cringe side because i was getting very tired towards the end if you watch uh the whole like middle parts of my recording i was very very tired i was starting to stumble over my words and i guess i just don't read well you know under pressure um and i tend to be very tongue-tied and I, i'm working on that as well so I feel like Not Tonight 2 is a better version of the Not Tonight 1 in that, you know, it's a better expanded game, it's a more inclusive game, it's a more over, I guess, overarching story that really does encapsulate a lot of the feelings that Americans have at that point in time and moving forward as well. So, you know, you have the racial issues, you have the... Um, you you have the uh, Trumpian era feelings of the M Mexican border wall, and then you also have the um, underlying fact that you know corporations are taking over, uh, with Amazon being you know fully automated, and you know Apple becoming more and more gripping on our 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 lives, you know, in terms of the iPhone and the smartphone and all that, and um. I think that it's important to know, you know, that this is just a commentary. It doesn't really refre reflect life in its entirety. And of course, it's a game at the same time. But it is very much the mainstream churning of a, of a story. And I feel like maybe uh, this is going to be, you know... This is going to be a very, very touchy subject for some, you know. I, I did put some, uh, you know, eyebrow-raising uh, thumb, like, you know, titles for my um, gameplays and some points. And I, I saw that they didn't do so well. And I understand that, and it's fine, because, you know, I'm, I, I consider more, I consider myself more of a centrist. I understand the liberal views i understand the conservative views you know what i'm saying it's it's just i grew up in the world where you could agree to disagree with someone like you know it's it's fine to have a discussion but it's not fine to be like no you're you're stupid you're wrong man i don't want to be friends with you no i'm I'm still going to like you as a person. I don't agree. I don't necessarily agree with your thought process, but if I feel like you're still a friend, you're still a friend. Now, if you do something to me that I don't like, per se, I will tell you to your face. And if you continue to doing uh, to do that same thing, and I said I didn't like, then maybe you know that's a different story. 
but I digress. Um, overall, my favorite characters, uh, Joe and Dave. I think they were really, they were really fun um, characters that were that put a lot of color in this dr dreary, like dull um, game. I mean, it, it it had colors, but you know what I'm saying. Like the overall tone was very dark and very macabre. So. I feel like um, Not Tonight 2 was a very, very much uh, better evolution on Not Tonight 1. There was more challenges in it. I mean, the whole fucking musical tickets, man, that, that's something I won't, I won't forget nor forgive. Because that's just fucking unnecessary, man. <laughs> to whoever who fucking coded that scene, man, you deserve an, an applause, man. You really deserve an applause because that's... That's just, that's just crazy. I mean, how do you, I mean, I know there's rhythm games in the world, but like to, to put it on a big, uh, big plane of existence, like Not Tonight 2, essentially something inspired from Papers, Please as well. Uh, and I first uh, knew about Not Tonight uh, from Jacksepticeye as well, so... You know, I have a lot of things to thank uh, Jacksepticeye for as well, because uh, I wouldn't have gotten into these political games without all, all my favorite YouTube gamers. But uh, in terms of doing it myself, I, I wanted to try to do gameplays myself for a very long time. And I just wanted to have fun. And, and I, I, I didn't know if people liked me not really talking about it or, or not really talk, like sometimes talking too much about it. It's, it's just a it's just a mixed bag really but I feel like this time around I, I'm trying to balance it out um, but whether you guys like it or not I won't know because I am a very small youtuber and I don't get on the algorithm very much so I do a lot of my own you know sharing and a lot of uh, my own you know my own runs of ads you know I, I share to a lot of communities from Amino to Facebook to you know just a few of the social media platforms out there and I feel like this could have had a bit more of a social media commentary I think that was one thing that was missing out from uh, Not Tonight 2 I mean there was a little bit with uh, the whole Maple situation and um, you know them uh, talking about uh, the issues that they were talking about but there was no real mention of uh, social media which I find very weird by the way but uh, again maybe that's what one thing they don't really want to bring up maybe I don't know per se I think they should have dived a little bit more uh, into the uh, role of social media and and how uh, proportionate it should have been because a lot of this, uh, these parts of Not Tonight 2 is, is a blended between uh, Papers, Please and the modern world. Uh, from my per perspective, the, the headlines that they were coming up with during the end should not have been uh, newspapers because it's we as young adults, we as you know, younger, the younger audiences wouldn't really know what the fuck is a newspaper really, you know, just to be very honest because nobody really touches print media anymore you know it's all about digital media and um yeah i, I get it it's a it's an alternate uh history kind of deal but i would have liked them to uh, put in more stuff about social media i mean you know they, they had a section with the um, whole uh, phone stuff as well i thought i thought that would be more incorporated throughout and maybe like a like a like a maybe like a blast notification like suddenly all of a sudden like on the phone is like break news you know what I'm saying like I don't know I don't know it's just a personal opinion personally well that's about it guys thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys next time bye